Hi, this is Stefan from overunity.com. I just wanted to show you some nice um, idea which some other people already had and um, David Serrano, or how he was called, um, he said that such an um, LED light from such an um, yeah, such a garden light here with a solar cell in there, which you normally put in the earth and uh, charge up here such a um, such a solar cell here, which is at the top. I removed the solar cell. I just cut off these two leads over here and uh, just. Um, Got this little circuit board which was inside this this container over here. Um, yeah, and um, now I'm using such a graphite aluminium cell. I'm using such a graphite rod I still had laying around from my other experiment with the water cells from Walter Hoffmann real time and yeah I just took firewood ash uh, inside here and um, connected the the yellow cable here to this uh, graphite rod and the negative cable to this aluminium foil and uh, between I have toilet paper and then I put in this uh, glass bottle I put um, firewood ash water so take just firewood ash uh, from a firewood um, from a wood fire and just put water in there and this destillate uh, or this this works as an electrolyte you can also use sodium carbonate or calcium carbonate or um, potassium carbonate it's the same so and it's generate um, open circuit voltage if I disconnect it, for instance here you see um, such a cell uh, produces about uh, open circuit voltage now it still rises again back up to about 1.38 volts or something like this yeah. and now it takes some time if you put a load uh, around the sun, it takes some time till it goes up again. But an earlier, 10 minutes ago, when I didn't have this load here on here, then it was about 1.38 volts. Okay, I'll reconnect it again. Do you see it's, it's pretty bright, this light? And, um, yeah. These um, garden LED lights, in my case here, it has one single IC here. In here, I hope you can see that. Um, this one here. So it's four legs. Um, it starts about um, 0 0.65 volts above, then it, this LED begins to light up. Yeah, you can make it still strong and get more current out if you wind around this um, graphite rod some um, stainless steel mesh metal. Yeah, some some stainless steel screen mesh. Um, if you put that around it, it works as a better current collector, and then you still get more power out of the cell. Yeah. But I haven't done this yet here. Um, yeah. So that's a very easy cell, graphite. You can also use something like, um, like this here. This is um, a carbon filter from an, from such a, what is it called, a drinking bottle. Yeah. Drinking bottle filter this is all also pretty good. Or you can just also um, 
get from some D cells, carbon, carbon zinc D cell batteries with the graphite rod out and use this also. Yeah. Okay, this is now the voltage under load here. 0 0.8 volts and this uh, still burns this LED. Okay, I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe don't so, do, so you don't miss the next video. And yeah, I will scale this up a little bit in the next time and hopefully we can then drive some really good power LEDs. Then it only depends on the surface area of the graphite rod and of the aluminium. So, um, and normally also the graphite has to be uh, with one side in air so it can breath the air because it's an metal air cell. Yeah. Alright, there you have it. Okay, bye bye for now. Bye bye.